almost exclusively. Burrow steps up, dumps it off. There's Justin Jefferson across midfield and down at the Aggies 44. For the Aggies. Johnson, their leading tackler. Play fake by Burrow, so good at dodging the run and throwing on the run. He's on target to Jamar Chase inside the AM 15. He leads the country in receiving yards per game, 126 yards per game for Jamar Chase. Again. Edwards Elaire, touchdown. What a start for LSU. Number one still in the AP poll. Number two in the college football playoff rankings, and Joe Burrow's family enjoys the terrific start for Coach Ed Ogeron. In the AP poll, LSU, third down and eight. Mon, deep throw, nobody home. Thrown only because receivers ran a bad route. Joe Burrow, quick pass to Justin Jefferson. He has a lot of shake and bake, as the coaches told us last night. That's the description Steve Ensminger used, the offensive coordinator. Tyler Johnson, Rashad Bateman. After the run fake, a beautiful throw by Burrow. It goes out wide. They like to work inside. Burrow flushed out of the pocket by Jaden Peavy and turns it into a first down to the 38 of AM. Third. Aggies bring pressure. Edwards Elaire runs right by it. Tackled by Leon O'Neill, but it's a first down. Cushionberry on that, picking up the blitz. He's an excellent center. Burrow forced back. Edwards Elaire gave him a block. Burrow takes off again. When he runs, it's often a first down. Third those guys. On third and ten, seven minutes to go in the opening quarter. Wide open receiver, Justin Jefferson, a touchdown for LSU. His first year in Aggie Land. Mon gets buried. Back inside the 45. Caleb on chase on leading the way. To work with. Springer told us a couple of weeks ago, as here's Edward Zilaire for a first down, that he handles that. Another play fake by Burrow, and a deep strike, and an open receiver. Jamar Chase, another touchdown. About Tua's health after the hip injury. Mond taken down, back of the 17, Caleb on chase on again. 240 yards of offense in the first quarter for the Tigers. Joe Burrow, seven out of nine for 168 passing and two TDs. Here's Ty Davis Price, and he powers ahead, typically on fourth down. Davis Price burst free, gets tripped up inside the 20. Keldrick Carper prevented a much bigger gain. LSU got to third down only five times in the entire game. Burrow on target. First and goal on the strike to Justin Jefferson. Seven seasons under Nick Saban said it was a phenomenal experience. And there's a touchdown for Davis Price. Four possessions and four touchdowns for LSU. Six on ESPNU. Already up 28-0. Burrow fires on target. Jamar Chase. Tackled from behind by Miles Jones. Out. Dig route, and they got it for the first down. Burrow. Finally heaves it to the near sideline. Almost completed it. Looked like a throwaway, but... There are two fouls against Texas A&M. Yep, that was wrong. Illegal substitution, Texas A&M. That penalty is declined. Roughing the passer, number 92 on the defense, blow to the head, 15-yard penalty, first down. Joe Burrow is running all over the place, those big defensive linemen. He didn't Ooh. knock him down, but he hit him in the head. I think that was his forearm that hit him in the head. Playing in college football. Runner, receiver, blocker, does it all. He picks up the first down. Clyde Edwards, he's there. We Burrow for the end zone. Intended for Jamar Chase. Team in field goals. He's made his last three, nine of his last ten. This is from 51. And that is good. Ellen Mon, four for ten passing for 21 yards. And dumped again by Damone Clark. 
glad uh, they talk about that Sports Illustrated jinx not really affecting Joe so far tonight. Joe in trouble again. Swarmed under Bobby Brown first there. It's carried the offense. I do think the seven overtime game has a lot to do with the motivation level here tonight. There's the best throw of the night by Mond, but Kendrick Rogers couldn't hang on. Joe has been over 75% passing in each of the last five games. Edwards Elair couldn't break free, dumped at the 35 yard line. And in the ESPN app. Here's an interception by Grant Delpit, bringing it back down the sideline. Flags are thrown. Delpit got flattened by Carson Green, the right tackle. Threw it in the middle of the defense, and Grant Delpit right there. Was his knee down? Is that where they marked the football? Mm, a really good win I agree. as they got last week against Penn State. Yep, I agree. However, LSU will have a better opportunity next week in the SEC Championship game. Low snap to Burrow, and that threw the whole playoff, and he got dropped by Devin Morris, who was coming on a blitz anyway. Super intelligent. He said he makes amazing halftime adjustments, so maybe he made some that have paid off tonight. Another good night for the freshman kicker, Cade York. Great for 59, and he does. And John Robinson looks pretty darn good for 84 as well. Isaiah Spiller with the biggest play of the night for the Aggies and their deepest penetration. Coach Robinson says a lot of appreciation for the way Ogeron runs a team. Tough run by Spiller, almost got them to the end zone. Kagan Baldry, the fullback, former offensive lineman, leads the way for Isaiah Spiller. And an AM touchdown, their first score of the game, with 4.13 to go in the third. Analyst, I'll clear that up so he doesn't hammer me with the impersonation next year at the seminar. <laughs> Justin Jefferson gets just more than 10 and a first down, taken across the sideline by Charles Oliver. They try to achieve tonight. 43 touchdown passes, one more to tie Drew Locke for the SEC single season record. Jamar Chase staggers across the 45 yard line to the 46, a pickup of 20. For Burrow would be 20 in the game, that would be 15 straight games with 20 completions. There it is, and it's a big one, Clyde Edwards, he layer inside the 30. Now they manipulate coverage with five man routes. Nice catch by Edwards, he layer. They bring a blitz. Is this the record? Tire! Flag down. It's a touchdown for Jamar Chase. And if it stands, it's the 44th touchdown pass of the season for Jimmy Burrow's son, pass Joe, to tie the SEC the defense, record. That penalty is declined. The result of the play is a touchdown. More than seven wins, perhaps they'll get number eight in the bowl game, but they did play one of the toughest schedules in the history of college football, including three teams ranked number one in the AP poll. First time in history that's happened. Mon just lobbing up a Hail Mary, and Jacoby Stevens has it. Now, that, that's all Kellen Mon could do there. He got flushed out of the pocket. In this conference, some great quarterbacks. Of course, football's changed a lot. It's become much more pass-happy than in the Plains, Ohio, right by Athens, where his dad coached at Ohio U. Now, Chase Young would be great as well. There's Racy McMath racing off to the races and into the end zone for a touchdown. Made the point a lot of people have. It's important to be number one. It is when the uh, college football playoff begins because if you're number two, you're probably in your LSU or Ohio State, assuming they win out in their conference championship games, and that's a big assumption. Terry Vincent going for the interception there, and they have called it an interception. It's in a 12 and 0. Trouble in the end zone. Foster that's trying safety. to get rid of it, and that's I believe safety. the referee is saying yep. he went out of the back of the end zone or stepped no. on the back line. Rolling on the field is would have been grounding in the end zone anyway. In a yeah. And then he said on top of that, he can recruit his butt off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's always done that, and he's continued to do it here in Baton Rouge. So they take a knee, and LSU will finish the regular season at a perfect 12-0.
They're number one in the AP poll, number two in the college football playoff rankings with the next iteration to come out Tuesday night. Impressive performance all the way around.